The genome bacillus are gram-positive rod-shaped bacteria. Most of them are strict or facultative aerobic and are ubiquitous in nature. This genome was named by German scientists in 1835. The name bacillus suggesting the shape of the bacteria. At first, this genome includes most of the rod-shaped bacteria. With further research, many of the old members now have their own classification. But even so, the genome still have more than 200 species with high genetic diversity. One of the major features of this genome is the ability to generate a resistance structure called endospore. When bacteria sense a lack of nutrition or unfavorable conditions, it can activate the sporulation process to produce one endospore for each bacteria cell. The spore, not to be confused with spore from fungus, consists of many layers of thick coats to withstand threats and protect the genetic material and enzyme inside. Endospore is resistant to harsh environments such as heat, drought, chemical, and drug. This makes them an important contaminant in food industry since they can endure most food making process. If you have seen my food and fridge video, you will notice that there are still quite some bacteria survive the cooking process. They are mostly bacillus that live on the surface of the plant. Endospore can be observed by phase contrast microscope or by standing. But the spore does not absorb water, which makes the stand difficult to attach and requires special steps. Here you can see the different position and size of the endospore which can be one of the features to consider when trying to identify the bacteria. Bacillus have a long history with humanity. Some people believe the plague in ancient Egypt was caused by a species of Bacillus, and the record also shows up in 25 BC. In the 11th century, Japan started to use Bacillus to make natto, and in the modern day, the bacteria have a variety of applications, like waste treatment, medical usage, biological control, agricultural usage, and also important biotechnology tools. Most bacillus do not have high nutrition requirements. This makes them easy to culture. Many common bacteria you might hear from time to time, such as the B. subtilis, B. cereus, B. syringensis, or B. anthracis all belong to this genus. We can use the bacteria's resisting nature to assist us in isolation. First, collect sample from soil and plant matter and mix with water to wash down the bacteria. After that, heat the water to kill non-heat resisting bacteria. In this way, we can keep most of the endospore. Here you can see I use this method to collect a lot of bacteria. What to do next is to isolate and identify them one by one. 